Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Operation Harsh Doorstop. Now, for those who don't know, this is a free to play first person shooter with unlimited modern potential. They've released the SDK code, which means anyone with knowledge and skills can go in and add their mods, be it maps, be it units, be it vehicles, be it guns whatever there's also some like overhaul mods i've seen already sort of out there that like star wars and stuff they're thinking about putting in that so there's going to be a lot of modern potential in this game now give me an fps give me modern and i'm going to be pretty goddamn happy i love armor and stuff and i'll mod that all day long however it's not all good and this video is going to go into all the things I think are wrong with this game and why after a few hours I doubt I'll play the core experience again but we're just going to cover you know a few of the positives free to play so you're not going to lose anything if you check it out the gun play and the gun models are pretty good they're not too bad at all and just unlimited modern man that's just fantastic um it was made by blue drake who well his studio who was a bit sick at triple a and just that premise is great it also covers different eras like world war ii cold war modern day vietnam and there's not really been many first person shooters that have done that so again that is great to see but anyway we'll move straight on to the problems because i don't want this to be a long ranty video first up is because the sdk code has been released there's cheaters already. Within about 48 hours, there are so many cheaters. Now, Blue Drake has said he doesn't really want to put anti-cheat in, and it's up to server owners and server people and moderators to deal with the cheaters. Now, you can look on this one or two ways. Anti-cheat, look at Tarkov, it's got quite a few cheaters in. So does anti-cheat work? Possibly not. Squad doesn't have many cheaters in, and that's because it is a little bit and heavily, I suppose, in some aspects, controlled by mods and servers. So I can kind of see his point, but the release with no anti-cheat at all, I think is a little bit of a mistake, and this could cause people really to get sick of the game quite quick. Next up is sound and graphics. For me, the graphics are pretty terrible. It's like a fan-made project from 2010. There's very low textures, qualities in lots of places like rivers, rocks, trees, all look terrible. Clipping issues like bushes don't move when you walk through them. I've walked through parts of scenery before. There's cars and vans left around like destroyed that don't even have see-through glass on them. There's no glass on levels mainly, so but even if there is, you can't smash it like that because you can't shoot and it doesn't like splinter or anything. Honestly, it, it, the graphics are pretty bad. It's just, it looks hazy. It, the environments aren't very nice. Map design isn't great. You go into a building and then you'll move to the next building. It's the exact same building and the exact same layout with the exact same stuff in it. And the stuff inside doesn't look good. It doesn't look lived in. It doesn't look like it's a war zone from the inside. Outside, some of the buildings do have, like, you know, holes in them and bullet holes. But again, it's just not great. Sound design is tinny. It's repetitive. At times, it just sounds like a really bad staticky dance track. You know, like, I know I'm old, but you'd put your speaker in water, and it would, like, be really tinny and... When you pulled it out and try and dry it out and static, that's what it sounds like. It sounds like you haven't tuned your radio in and it's so noisy. Like when you put bots on a map, say like 40 versus 40, the noise is consistently just there in your ears. And honestly, it's pretty terrible. You can't gauge where sound's coming from. So sound design just isn't very good. The guns sound okay, but I wouldn't say great. Um, bugs. I had a hard crash to desktop, and then as soon as I went to my desktop, it blue screened my computer. I lost about half an hour of footage, which really annoyed me. Um, I've not seen that in a game for a while. A game has not hard crashed my computer blue screen. I, I can't even remember the last time I did it. So, yeah, there's also bugs in game as well. You'll see plenty of um, sync issues, rubber band, and especially do servers, clipping through things, guns not working, ADS not working at times. Um, I wouldn't say it's a bug, but some of the guns don't shoot where you're looking at. And it's like the recoil just keeps going up and up and up and up and up instead of it resetting. Like you might fire one shot, but it'll keep going up rather than resetting to where it should do, like a proper gun would. Um, that all needs work. I don't know if it's bugged or game design, but yeah. Um, moving on from that, the AI is atrocious. 
It's really, really bad. Like, the two sets of soldiers will literally just walk into each other and be like, oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh, my God, we're supposed to shoot each other up. We're bang, bang, bang. And there's times where the enemy would walk past me, and I'd be like, eh, that, I'm, I'm sure I'm one of the Americans. Why? Oh, oh, well, I'll shoot them. Cause, and you can go up behind them and shoot them, and they don't even realize you're there. But then sometimes the aim body, like, they'll be across the map just sniping you in the head from when you can't even see them, and that needs leveled out hugely that just wasn't very enjoyable there's one game mode which is like kind of a rush so you got points on the map and then you've got to get down and you know get the most captures the only problem for this is you can't there's no forward spawning or forward operation bases or spawn points so you have to spawn back behind the one you've just captured and it can turn into a bit of a walking simulator so you're just like walking for ages to get to where you want to be and I found that gameplay loop quite boring. So I could do with more game modes. Um, you get five maps, I think it is, from different eras in there. The As I said before, the map design's not great. It's not... Uh, I don't know. Um, it's more the assets and the look of it rather than design. But I would also say the design could be reworked as well because I just don't think they flow very well and they just tend to be one big mass in the middle every single time in every single match so yeah there's also no spawn camp protection as well i've spawned and been killed um it's a little bit annoying i can tell you that moving past that i would say that the open sdk element of modern just seems to be the default fallback position of the the developers like you don't like the hood well mod it you don't like the look of the maps well mod it you don't like this well mod it you don't you want more guns mod it you want different uniforms mod it and when that's fine i don't mind that if you've got a solid core game like say armor 3 the core game for that is pretty good modern makes it better project zomboid very good core game modern makes it a little bit better you know i play lots of games which i mod and in fact when i pick up a game i usually look to see what mods there is um but usually they give me some satisfaction in the core game this doesn't give me satisfaction um the animations are also pretty terrible as well like um vaulting over walls oh my god god it's terrible you also get stuck in the animation as well and it's slow it's uh, it's hard to describe it looks and feels terrible throwing grenades like when you throw a grenade it like um throws your grenade then animates another one below that to like continue the arc it looks terrible if you saw that it's when in real time you don't quite notice it but if you just have a little look you'll notice it and that's also coming out with the gun as well um so yeah the animations when you die as well are pretty bad like they'll just be flopping around on the ground um there's no kill screen it's just to see where you got shot from who you got shot from um what weapon or anything like that um you then just kick back a deploy screen there's no scoreboard so you can't see how well you're doing how not you're doing i found the lack of information on the screen to be quite jarring as well um the hood elements all right minimalistic i suppose is your best term to do it but again what's there is functional but i wouldn't say it's great so yeah i just i don't know i think with all these mixed in with the cheaters the bad graphics the bad sound the maps that aren't particularly great. There's not much content. One game mode. The fact that developers just like, well, you develop it constantly throughout this game. Just makes me feel like, I'm sure they're not, but it just feels a bit lazy. It's a lazy effort. It's a meh game and experience. I didn't really enjoy my time with it. So it's not going to encourage me to really check the mods out or play with the mods or anything because it's such a meh core, core experience. And... I think you should be delivering a good core experience to make people go, oh, okay, okay, okay. But I think we could maybe do that a little bit better. Your modern community shouldn't be there to give you a good game. The good game should be there, and that's to make the mods are there to make it even better and give you ideas of what should be improved on. And I feel like they've just went, right, that'll do. And then the modders are sorted out. And to me, that's not how it works. So I can't recommend this game. I just don't think it's particularly interesting. It's not particularly great. There's way, way better options out there. You could go and play Call of Duty. Go and download Call of Duty Warzone. It's free. And you'll have way more fun, way more polished game, and way more better experience. So that's my thoughts on it, guys. Remember, comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye.